time for steel game now this going around i'm only doing one episode i know i'm a couple weeks behind due to computer problems but uh it's 4 17 in the morning and earlier in the week we had 30 degree weather and for some reason it's uh it's hotter than satan's asshole gotta got to have the air conditioner running and it's third of december so from the people that I know that have reacted to this show on YouTube, season six is usually where it gets a little bit hairy trying to take and get this show actually on YouTube because it's like after, I think it's after series season five, I think season six, seven, eight, and nine. And I don't know if season six, I'm going to take and go back and check, but like it's like either starting to season six, start to season seven, it's hard blocked on YouTube. So with that being said, after this season, it's very well that this uh, I may wind up putting this strictly on my Patreon. Now, when I do that, it will be free. I will not charge anything for it. Nothing. Because I do not want... I, there should be no charge. This is something you're used to getting anyways. So, that's, that's the way I'm going to take and work this. Once it's hard blocked on YouTube, it'll be Patreon... And, but it'll be free to take and watch. Like I won't have any, you won't be behind anything. Like you won't have to take and join at $2, $4 or anything like that level. So yeah, that being said, we got a uh, season five, episode one. Let's get into it. Shall we? Be a little oh, shit be getting there. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you very much. About three months at this boat. Sorry, Jack. Yeah. Doing a bloody mooty anyway. Ah, I'm, I'm bored out my god. Ah, uh, well. I'm not the only one. That'd be. Yeah, well, I dug this suit. I'm going to learn it. Ah, uh, well, good. He's a tune then. What's your pleasure? Eh, uh, Yellow Rose of Texas or oh, something. Good choice. I'd want to be shite myself there, wouldn't I? Aye. <laughs> <think. Hi. laughs> it's just murder, isn't it? Aye, aye. Come here. That is the source of our misery right there. Look at it. Pitch black. Five to three in the afternoon. <laughs> Look what we are. A couple of bears in a Russian zoo. Caged. Demented. Right there, Jack. Well, it's, it's okay in the summer, we can sit in the park till, I don't know, 10 o'clock, but this. I know. I mean, what are we supposed to do? See, your young people, they're busy working, they don't notice this time. But see, between about 3 o'clock and the time you get your bed for a pensioner, it's like a bloody week. Right, that's it. Oh, easy, cowboy. It's a bit early for that, as I know. Is it? Is it? Is it though? Talk it up, Jack. Convince me. Your Swedes, your Norwegians, your Icelandics. They all live in places of the long winter's night. What do they do? How do they combat the boredom? I'll tell you what they do. They seek the company of Mr. John Barleycorn. They get pushed. <laughs> That's how you never... Yeah, yeah, but the, see, they, they get... They get... They drink. They also fuck. So, you know, you got one ingredient there. The only thing there is to do, drink and have sex. It's kind of like being stuck out in the sticks, to be honest, would you? There's no stores other than the gas station. All you can do is drink and fuck. That's the reason why we got so many kids and unfortunately meth heads around here. They're here for these countries in the winter. That's how a situation never arises. They're wasted. Are you sure, Jack? Are they no fishing and skiing and driving sleds with huskies? Yes, they are. Pished. <laughs> Mush, mush, old friend. Get the lid off it. <laughs> mush, mush. Ah, it's good news, right enough. I, I'm actually quite excited at the prospect. What's that? They're opening the bookies again. Next in the vids. And what? I think that's great news. I think that's fantastic. See, if us dragging ourselves down to the high street, we want to put a bet on. Aye, aye, tremendous. Bang, right in your own doorstep, eh? Look at a pair of yous foaming at the mouth at the prospect of a shitey bookies opening, eh? <laughs> I can't wait to be a pensioner when life is as exciting as yours is. <laughs> oh, lads, can I tell him? Pretty, please? <laughs> uh, wait till you hear this, Winston. You'll piss your frillies. <laughs> the bookies is opening again. I heard. 
Big deal. Thank you. Big deal. Well, well, it is an occasion, eh? I mean, they're bringing down Captain Dandy and a jockey. The papers are going to be there. I'm going to get my photo take me a horse. You got a camera you can lend me, Bobby? Thanks. You got my pie? Aye. You guys don't bring in pies in when I've got perfectly good pies here. These are Greg's, Bobby. A pie's a pie, for Christ's sake, is it no? Uh-oh, the three in here only asked <laughs> Too slow, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, the way he bit it was like, oh no, this is not good. <laughs> a pie is apparently not good. Look as he's opened up again. Yes, we know. Great, isn't it? Ah, it's great, aye. If you're a mug, you talking about Winston, you love the bookies. No, loved. Past tense. You know, catch me setting foot in there again. We all love a bet, Winston, but you? Well, you were never happier when you had a line on. You were like a, a wane on Christmas Eve. I ah, will know anymore. Look at all the wee horses, Winston. <laughs> Which one's going to win? I don't know. Pick me, Winston. Touch it. I don't want to touch it. Come on, Winston, look at it. It's a page for your promise. That has to get your plums pumping. Um, um, um. I see what you're trying to do, but you're wasting your breath. I'm done with the bookies. Stevie was a long time ago, Winston. Let me tell you something. All my adult life, right? Every single week, I would do my wee accumulator. Never won a button. Then, bingo, up it comes. Result after result. £32,550. Hooray! Do I get paid? Do a shite. <laughs> Stevie, the bookie, does a runner. Me? I'm left screaming. Running about from town to town, gibbering like an idiot. Has anybody seen Stevie with my money? Searching for him. Aye. Even made we wanted posters. Do you remember? I kept one. Put it away, Bobby. I don't want to see his face. About to eat. Anyway, I passed all that now. Oh, That's some... all behind me. I'm in a better place now. He doesn't look like he's in a better place. He looked like he's kind of pissed off that they're opening back up. It looks defeated, to be honest with you. Which it was a crap thing to do. He wanted that money and the book. He's like, yeah, that's not happening. And shut everything down and run off. Just, just feel bad for Winston in something like that, you know? He does. <laughs> he who moveth lethargy eateth not a pie for tea. Ah, Reed. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Well, here's the thing. What can you offer us in the line of a decent whiskey? Absolutely bugger all. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, lads. You're looking at the purveyor of such fine beverages as Sputnik Vodka, Mississippi Steamboat, and Blue Hyena for the kids. Grey Gang is no for the connoisseurs. So what have we got? We have a Kildrum, two-year-old. Largely because it's been lying there for two years. <laughs> You're Grant's men. Why the sudden snootiness? Ah, it's him, David, you know. We finished off this lovely wee bottle of malt at Jack Garden. Once you've had malt, you've touched the stars. Yeah, you don't want to go back to the mundane, you know. The, the run of the mill. The shite. <laughs> yeah. You need the yeah. bus. <laughs> to where? West End. Audbins. Do whiskey tasting every Thursday. It's for all the arseholes with too much money. They make open six or seven bottles every week. Good gear. I used to go at that. Lovely. Bad me, Buck. What happened? Well, they only give you two halves, right? So I swipes the bottle, next it, and split the guy's seed be empty. Yeah, convivial, yeah. Hey, repeat, how come you don't have tastings in here? I'd certainly come. Good idea, Pete. We'll do one uh, tomorrow. What time's good for you? What about a uh, 5 a.m. just before I take the rolls in, you jakey bastard? <laughs> <laughs> hey, whiskey. Aye, that's two words that go together well, eh? Well, that's that then. We'll get the 36 into the town and then the 89 out to the West End. Jesus, is that a horse? <laughs> that's not just any horse, boy. That's Captain Dandy. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Captain Dandy. Hey, Freddy, just another couple with you, eh, with Captain Dandy. That's it. It's lovely. Winston! Yeah, Winston. Captain Dandy, eh? He's well, beautiful, isn't he? Aye. Aye, yes, aye. Can we get the bookie in? Where's the bookie? 
Right, I'm off. <laughs> Stevie. Uh oh. Stevie. You bastard. Wait a minute. I'm no Stevie. Uh... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> 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 what? Why well, took that on a horse? I don't blame him though. You dude sorry, and yeah, I'd be coming after him. Like I would seriously. Where's my money? Where's my money, punk? But <laughs> head bust a horse no <laughs> I'm telling you, that man's name is Stevie Reed. Please be quiet a minute. Francis Reed. <laughs> Francis Reed, my ass, it's Stevie Reed, I'm telling you. Look, officer, I can explain this. He thinks I'm my younger brother. He used to be the bookie here, but he done a runner. Aye, 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 with my money. Look, mate, I'm sorry. If it's any consolation, he owes me a fortune and all. No way. No way! Look, this isn't the end to the matter. The gentleman's provided documentary evidence stating he is who he says he is. I know this Stevie character you're on about. Now, get yourself lucky I'm not arresting you. Is that not right? <laughs> I'm a bit dizzy, but it'll be fine. Right, on your way. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> this stinks. That is that bastard, I'm sure of it. Well, that fella's baldy. It could be Stevie's brother. I think you get half light. Imagine the headline. Craig Langman beats Derby winner by a head. Hey, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, could we, uh... There we go, gentlemen. The Balvenie 15. It's a limited edition. Absolutely gorgeous. Not too much peat, orange peel, and burnt almonds. <laughs> They're just wanting a drink. They don't give a shit about the taste of notes or nothing like that. You can tell. Because it that look of like, ah, oh, crap, as they were going to go lift them. To be honest with you, though, I, I've got to take and get one of the Balvinis. I've never had Balvini before. I've got uh, Roccolati, uh, that one. I've got that one. I've got that. And I've got a couple others. But, uh, yeah, there's quite a few that I still need to try. I'd heard that, I... <clears throat> oh, I've heard that and all, I... Uh, the orange peel, I... Smashing! <laughs> Not for me, that one. Too earthy. I don't like a cask strength. <laughs> Couple of those in your... Well, let me put it this way, you're, um... Well, not to put too fine a point in it. Shut you're... up! Wind your neck and try and enjoy yourself, son. Uh, please excuse my friend, for he is an ignorant bastard. Uh, don't be shy, gentlemen. <laughs> try the McClivey. Oh. Now, that distillery is silent now. Twenty-five years old. A wee sip of history. Ah, well, it'll be history when it's uh, flying out my piss in about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> The old Pulkney. Now, I like this one. It's got a lovely nose. Mmm. I like this one. It's got a lovely, shiny label. <laughs> there we go, gentlemen. Oh, what's this? You could win a case of whiskey. Ooh. Scratch cards. Let's see what we're on to here now. Right. Hee-haw. Visit. 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 What's that? Mmm. Mm. Mm. What's that, son? Oh, well done. You've won a visit to a local distillery. No. Hey. <laughs> Have another dram, and I'll fetch up the details. Oh, yeah. Could be managed, uh, another wee dram. What time is it? Half past one. And what time is the last bus home to Craig Lang? <laughs> what are you doing, Winston? Nothing. Have you got a bet on? Oh, yes, Eric. Yes, indeedy. Aztec Flame, 8 to 1. Jesus, 20 quid. I thought you were done with the betting. This isn't a betting, Eric. This is an experiment. What do you mean? Always smiling away. Never happier, this Frankie. You're no still maintaining that Stevie. Smiling away. Loves his work. See, Stevie hated his life. Hated his punters. And hated me most of all. You can't disguise that, Eric. See that there happy-go-lucky attitude? That's our performance. You can't keep that up. Least of well, all... Well, to turn up for the box as Aztec Flame is the winner. When I've got a winner. Stevie. <laughs> Stevie. Bro, he's still... Oh, good Lord. And, but you can't... 32,000. Like, that was, that's good money. That's good money.
I wonder how quickly things are going to take and change here. My name's Frankie. Frankie, is it? OK, Frankie, I'll play along with that, Frankie. Frankie, you owe me 180 quid. What do you make of that? Oh, did you have Aztec flame? Good for you. Winston, isn't it? Another winner down at Frankie's. You see, gentlemen, that's how you do it. Well done, sir. Shut up, you. He hasn't given me the money yet. Oh, you bastard! What? You nearly showed your true colours there. You used to hate paying me out. You used to shove the winnings at me like it was a Wayne's shit-filled nappy. <laughs> Gutted at paying out. You just managed to catch yourself there. Listen, friend, you're confused. I understand. Enjoy your winnings. Go and spend it on something nice. Don't fritter it away in here. No, that's your ugly bastard. <laughs> I'm watching you. You will fall. And when you do, it's going to cost you 32 and a half grand. Have a nice day. How neat's way Spanish Maria, Frankie? Frankie. Frankie. Frankie! What? Spanish Maria, how neat's way. <laughs> Ni bother. Oh, Lordy. Welcome to our distillery here in Dumgoin. Now, your whole day begins here. My name is Andrew, and I will be your tour guide today. We will begin in the main bonding hall shortly. <laughs> Well, I'm so excited, Jack. You know what this is like? Like, it's like Charlie Wonka. Oh, aye, aye. Charlie Wonka and the booze factory. Who <laughs> thinks he thinks we're gay? Well, it's hard to say, isn't it? I mean, a small distillery, you get maybe one at the end, but this is a big place, you know? There's a lot of people. It's a day out. So have you got a figure in mind? I'm surmising six, maybe eight halves. Six, maybe eight. It's respectable. It's a glow. Aye. It's a snifter. A snootful. <laughs> Listen, gents, it's not really about the free whiskey. It's more about absorbing the culture. Well, me and my friend here are going to get absorbed out of tits. It is here we'll discover a bit about the history of the distillery and a bit about the people involved in the centuries-old production of what we consider to be the finest malts in the world. <laughs> I see some of you have cameras, that's fine. Feel free to snap away. If I could just ask you, though, to refrain from picture-taking in the actual blending room. Peter, our master blender, likes to protect the family secrets. <laughs> Excuse me, son. Yes? Well, it's no family secret that me and my colleague here enjoy our dram. Uh, when, when are we getting one? <laughs> I, I think you might all agree that it might just be a tad early for that. Don't worry, you'll get a chance a little later on. Oh, a little later on. Glen Goyne is a unique malt whiskey. Nightmare, isn't it? The natural elements of this magical little blend. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're gonna get pissed. They're gonna get pissy drunk. Baldy bastard be shaving his baldy bit. Why would he do that? It's because he is not a baldy bastard. Oh, he is a bastard. But he is the baldy. Stevie, you're busted. You hid in my lavvy all night. That's right. I tell you I was watching you. You see, I knew if I could catch you unawares that you would let your guard slip. And I was right. Yes, indeedy, Stevie boy. You're humped. What are you going to do? Go to the polis? They think you're a crackpot. And better yet, they think I'm Frankie. I have documents to prove it. Who's going to believe you? I've got to say, an old man prepared to sit in a shitey lavvy all night. That's impressive. But it's just you and me, pal. Frankie and the old loony. A smart man would have brought a witness. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Thanks for the dough, Stevie boy. Oh, look at that. 
That's really sticking in your craw, isn't it? I'll see you this afternoon, then. Oh, you'll not see me in there. Of course I will. You can't keep away, Winston. You're a mug punter. You built my bookies, bricks and mortar. You'll be back. You're just keeping that money warm for me. Get off you! <laughs> What's the matter with you? Fell asleep against the system. <laughs> Awesome. For once, for once, Winston gets it. Oh, I feel so good for him. That is awesome. And it's funny because he immediately knew, like, yeah, no. And the way he took and the guy went to go slide the money and just slapped it down with that look of disgust before putting on that act, man. Good for Winston. These are some very special bottles that have sat here for some time. Can anyone tell me why this whiskey's so pale? It's been filtered through heather. This was barreled in what we call a blonde barrel, pale wood. Is that, uh, is that Clark Gable there? Well spotted. Clark Gable used to buy whiskey from us, crates of it for big Hollywood parties. As a token of our appreciation, we made up a special personalized line. We said to Mr. Gable, any time you want some of your own whiskey, just pick up the phone. And he did, time and time again, until he sadly passed on. That's the last bottle. Oh, no. He was a wanker. He was a wanker. He's only here and he's pissed in moustache. She loved him. I thought he was red rotten. Oh, big stick you ears. Well, I tell you, his bloody doors open. He's a prick. Here, here. What's this? Full barrel. Empty hip flask. <laughs> <laughs> Tobacco knife. Right, get ready. No fellas, no fellas. Oh no. Yeah, they're not going to smell like whiskey at all. All right, no danger. Come get that drop. I hope you enjoyed the tour, ladies and gentlemen. Feel free to purchase a gift from our whiskey shop. Thank you very much for coming. Just through there, please. Is that it? I was just going to bloody taste for that there. Ah, it's a con, isn't it, eh? Show you a couple of stills, give you a couple of halves, then booth, bounce into the shop and fleece you. Ah, dirty fly bastards. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Have a good look at this. What's this? That is another tour kicking off. Oh, different tour guide. Do you want to latch on to it? Come on, come on, come on. Safe you? in the world, boy. <laughs> <laughs> You've cracked it. I do believe I'd be saving my money just a little bit somewhere different than, you know, a leg. Call me crazy. I don't know, maybe a little bit of a safe in the house or something like that, or between the ma you know mattresses and your bed. Something of that nature. I don't know if I'd be storing it there. Ah. 32 and a half grand. Play your cards right and life's going to get a whole lot easier. You'll be getting thrown out for a start. Now ah, you've served me well, but it's time to go. It's leather that'll be caressing my butt cheeks from now on. Um, what's about <laughs> to, to happen? Because things are about to go wrong. Goodbye, old friend. Be holiday, maybe. Or you could go with the bookies. <laughs> Pop into a wee showroom. Aye. Buy a wee car. You can do that after you've been to the bookies. <laughs> Options. Bookies. Oh, for God's sake. Come on, man. Take me money off that bastard. Get back in and finish him off. You know your horses. Stick it to him. Leave him for dead. So it's Finbar's fury in the 2.30. Put your house in it, the granny's savings, the mortgage, the kids' college fund, your wife, whatever you like, cannot get beaten. I could ride this. Finbar's fury it would win. The faces, the shrewdies are all piling in. I don't know the second and third, but I got a horse. Finbar's fury. 
No, no, don't switch off, Winston. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, Winston. We thought we'd lost you for a second. Now, there's plenty of time for leather sofas, luxury holidays and sports cars. Imagine 32 and a half grand. That would be fine, but it could be 50 grand. It could be 100 grand. It's Finbar's Fury in the 230. So get that wedge off the table and get your backside down to the bookies. Now, Winston, now! Oh, no. Great, John. <laughs> you might want to get my leg on. Now, up here are some very special whiskies. Usually. Now, can anybody tell me why this one is so pale? Certainly. Could it be that it was filtered through the heather? <laughs> a blonde wood barrel patch. Oh, excellent. You know your whiskies. Oh, yes. <laughs> Now, this here... Hey, well, Gable, no, I, I tell you, I was reading a whiskey journal, and, and that whiskey was specifically commissioned by the distillery here and sent to Mr Clark Gable because he was such a good customer. That, that's the last bottle. My goodness. That's very well informed of you. Nibs, we are. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, I, I don't want to finish it all. Oh, don't worry about that. We've got our own private barrel through there. <laughs> Tell you you'd be back. Shut up. No sign of Finbar's Fury. Well, I'm flabbergasted. I must admit, I fancy that Finbar's Fury a bit, but never mind. John. Now, I'm the three o'clock here at Lingfield, the jockey of the moment, this Pato Grief. He's ridden the last two winners. He's never mind that, Lou. The man's on fire. John. What are you talking to the telly for, Winston? John. This is number ten. Damn. bastard. <laughs> Four thousand, King Vidor. Welcome back. I've missed you. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope very much you've enjoyed your tour. Please make your way to the gift shop where we have a beautiful selection of keenly priced whiskies. This way, please. Is that the tour over? Oh, it's a bit short and sweet. No more free drink either. Not necessarily. Come on. <laughs> I'm about to take them and. Oh, Lord, they're going to help themselves more whiskey. No good. No good at all. All good horses, aye, but just no good luck. What are you talking about? Soft. They said the going was going to be soft, aye, but it wasn't, no, it wasn't, it was hard. It was too early. Didn't they stand a chance? Good horses, too. Lovely horses, strong horses, just tired. It's so, so tired. What's up with yourself? You're raving. John. Where's John? I need to speak to John. John who? John McCrittick. He talks to me. He told me everything would be fine. Look, that's enough. I'm going to get you out of here. How much money have you got left? Three grand. Jesus! See you! You should get to jail. Man makes bets. I'm a bookie. I did warn them. One mere bet. Fix it all. Make it all better. Behave yourself. Behave yourself? When's it running? Pull yourself together! <laughs> it's over! Three grand's still a lot of money. Right, you come on. Jesus, what have I done? It doesn't matter. Come on, I'll get you a pint. Pint? Aye. Three grand Spartan Dream. Three grand on Spartan Dream. Now, up here, we have you some can barely very stand. Oh important my God. bottles of whiskey. <laughs> Bro, they are drunk as freaking skunks. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. Thank you. And on this one, we have Clark Gable. Ooh! I'm Clark Gable! Andrew. Come on, Spartan Dream. As they go towards the line, there's nothing between them as they go to the line now. Spartan Dream wins the game. That's 31. Uh, that's 30 grand plus your three grand stake. That's 33 grand. <laughs> You're up 500 quid. <laughs> Thank you, Stevie. Thank you for keeping my money warm. Now get into that safe and get me paid. Look at you, Stevie. 
You're actually thinking about Dana again, aren't you? Dana Runner. What are you going to do this time? Cut your balls off and come back as your sister? <laughs> Get me paid. <laughs> Thank you, Stevie. But I'll tell you who I really fancy in the last race here at Lingfield. Shut up, John. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe. When they let the woman on the bus, but they wouldn't let us on the bus, eh? Stuck here alone in the middle of nowhere, steaming. You know what? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I figured they were going to steal the bottle. I figured they were going to steal the bottle, but it looked like they got caught red-handed after that last bit. So, have, <laughs> how'd they... Oh, my God. Uh. Oh. <laughs> mm. Much money have you got now? 33 grand. I'm actually 500 pound up. It's all in there. It's all in your leg. That's good, Winston. Here, he's not having a drink, no? No, tea's fine. <laughs> I tell you what, boys, I was in the biggest hole in my life there. An abyss it was, staring the devil right in the face, but I didn't give up, you know? I knew my luck would turn. I'll tell you one thing, though, that's a roller coaster I'll not be riding again. <laughs> I'd love to have seen that, Stevie. Chalk white he was. A wreck. I'll never forget that face as long as I live. <laughs> Good for you, Winston. You're not going to do anything silly with that money now, are you? No, no, no danger. Oh, oh, but his face, though. <laughs> it was as if I'd planted one right in his balls. <laughs> Boof! Right in the Niagara Falls. <laughs> Boof! Right in the Costa del Souls. <laughs> right in the Vina McCall's. <laughs> Boof! Go get your leg! <laughs> Bro, they did Winston so dirty at the end there. I mean, it's par for the course for him, but wow, that's dirty as hell. A awesome first episode of a season. Winston getting his money back. Of course, losing it, but the fellas... Looking for something to do with, you know, extended period of darkness and a little bit of day drinking. <laughs> they got their own, <laughs> got their own barrel at the brewery, which or, or yeah, the distillery, which of course get them to get kicked out. Oh my God, this show right here, man, Winston. It felt so good seeing Winston take and figure out and actually call him on it and get his money, but kind of like. Oh crap, he's about to take and throw it all away because uh, the monkey on his back. And uh, yeah, yeah, at least he won it back. But, you know, then right out the window it goes, quite literally. Hope you all enjoyed this. I absolutely love this show. Just the silliness that ensues on this is absolutely just spectacular. Hope you all enjoyed this. Y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.